the Touch of Tarot. My name is Genevieve. Thank you for joining me for your reading. Let's see what's coming up. If you want the extended, it will be on Patreon with all the other extendeds. I do have a new price for those that, you know, are just happy. Um, before I want to talk first. <laughs> um, with those that are not happy with the higher price, there is a lower option. Um, but it doesn't come with the benefit of the discounts for personal readings. That's the difference. But you get all the extendeds. Okay, so let's get into this. See what's coming out for Libra. Okay, we have one. I'm going to start by pulling from three oracles and then tarot. Okay, this card, I don't know what it is, but it wants to come out. And one more for Libra. No, love, love, love. When is love coming, right? So let's start here and see what we have. Children, your love life is being affected by children. So this can go so many different ways without any other cards just yet. We are not sure what this is talking about exactly. Um, the person coming into your life could be on hold right now because there could be children involved. Um, there could be a natural time delay like from the universe because children are involved. And that is a big deal. Like for some kids, the universe doesn't want their parents separated. And that's why they keep them together, even if it's miserable, for whatever reason. Maybe, you know, it prevents something terrible from happen happening or it helps something great happen. But there is this natural time effect that is taking place often, especially when children are involved here. Okay, so let's go straight into the tarot and see what's coming up. And we'll flip these cards after. We're asking, when is love coming in? This could also be a childhood friend, but I am feeling more like actually physically children are affecting this situation. So here's the first card. Let's flip it over. Four of mirrors, four of cups. The second card kind of going all over the place. The king of scrolls, okay. It's the king of swords, by the way. Yeah, okay, interesting. When is love coming in for Libra? And we have the Three of Scrolls. That is so interesting. So at the bottom, we do have the Magician Energy Merlin. Um, wait, <laughs> the Fool, sorry. I don't know. I was just about to say, oh, my gosh, I've been calling the Fool card the Magician. No. This is the Fool card, um, but it confuses me a little because Merlin is a magician, right? So, yeah, that got me. But anyhow, let's just get into this for now. Libra, there is something in the way. This person greatly desires you, and I believe you do desire this person as well, very heavily. <clears throat> I also believe that you probably have known this person for quite some time. Maybe you know they have children. Maybe you've known them while well, they've had children. And maybe you know that this person is waiting for the children to grow up. There is an energy here of having good times with this person. I feel like you have had good times or good memories, um, but not being able to be together. So there's a space between you. This is kind of a third party energy coming up. And it's, so far, it's the first one to be bringing it up. And I've done a few readings now today. Um, what I also get here is that this masculine energy here, or this King of Swords energy, whoever it may be, is really planning and organizing, um, almost setting the stage for when they're going to be saying goodbye. So, I mean, it's not necessarily manipulative, but this person does know that they are going to be saying goodbye at some point. And it's not going to be easy. It is going to be a bit heartaching. This is the Three of Swords energy. This fox has a tear. And, you know, foxes can be considered quite clever and smart, and they have to survive, right? So they do have to do things... Um, that may seem manipulative to some in order to have a future, in order to be to protect themselves, right? And this is part of the reason there's some guilt here for this person. I do feel that 
I feel it's all based around this children energy here, um, whether it be that they didn't go to their childhood sweetheart or that they now have children involved. You and this person could look quite similar, okay, because I'm seeing like this flowing hair, but like it could just be saying you have some serious similarities between you and this person, just for description wise. So when is this love going to be coming in? It looks like there is paperwork involved. It looks like there is a period of pause. Um, because at this time, though, you may be able to have a bit of fun with this person or have some in and outs or some some um, reunion energy with them every now and then, it doesn't look permanent just yet because this per this person is making plans to finally close the book eventually. Okay. I don't see it rushed. So tell us more. Let's see what we get. Choose a new direction. Well, yeah, this person is preparing for that. And we have let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. So with this, I do feel that the best approach to this is just you know, this person is in the middle of choosing a new direction, whether you know it or not. Now you know it. Um, and to remain close with this person, you could even encourage them as well as what I get by giving them space, because this would allow this person to really miss you and maybe even speed things up a bit. It's just a message I'm getting for some of you. Um, but it's really important to not claim and to not hold resentment or to not pressure this person right now. It looks like this person is literally already planning to close out one section of their life and it is not happy. They may have three children, even though we're only seeing two, they could actually have quite a few children or quite, you know, they could have some children and some animals, you know, that they love. People love animals so much, of course, you know, um, so let's get another card here and see what else we get before I go into the extended here. For Libra, with this person. This could be you as well, Libra, that is, you know, planning to close out and go somewhere else. So we do have the storyteller, the hermit. I feel like this person is lying to other person people at this time. Um maybe making up a story, but they're keeping stuff to themselves. And it's, it's really around finances is why this person is making these secret plans. But I'm also getting like this person may need space. This person may need time alone um, to just come to terms with what they are doing, what they are planning to do, what they want you know, it's really the reason this person needs time alone is really for themselves. It really is for them to do what they truly want and to go about this in a non-forced manner. Um, that's, you know, guided by their ancestors or guided by connecting with the, you know, external forces or they're not really external. They're all around us. They're from us. Um, but there's a connection that this person, they need to feel good about making this move. They need to know they're making the decision based on what they want. I feel personally, this person has wanted to leave for some time, um, but they had contracts and these contracts probably have to do with these children. And like I said, like there's so many, I used to have dreams about this and I used to share those dreams with you guys had those dreams lately but I remember having a dream that someone had to stay in the home because the child needed them I forget if it was for protection or if it was because something was going to happen but the person could not leave because they had a destined fate to be there to protect a child so and I get shivers saying that so sometimes you have to remember especially when there's children involved because we have to protect the children that like you can't rush it just yet there's other factors that may seriously need that person there in the home okay so libra i'm going to be moving on to the patreon if you would like to join i'm really just going to uh, mostly dissect this poet storyteller king of um 
King of Swords energy and see what's coming out with this person, why they're so sad about, you know, what they're planning. They're planning it. They're planning to leave. You know, I guess it would be kind of like plan. Well, it's maybe not appropriate. But for example, um, my grandma planned her whole funeral. When she left, we didn't have to do anything. Um, but I'm sure that couldn't have felt the best right? So it's like planning to leave. It's it's not happy. Okay. So anyhow, bye Libra. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Greatly appreciate you. Have yourself a beautiful day, week, month. Bye for now.